What's up, everybody? Today we're trying out Bramble Royale. Bramble Royale. A meteor fall story. Sure. <laughs> uh, from what I understand, this is uh, like a deck building, fighty, fighty. deck building, roguelikey, post apocalyptic y, yeah. <laughs> goofy kind of game. And we're going into a blind, as we always do. Uh, yes, I would very much like a tutorial. Please. Yeah, because we're not like them. You, uh, we're not like other YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> we actually read tutorials. All the fun boys. Brawl. Maybe I'd be ever in your face. Uh, welcome to Bramble Royale. You need to defeat the opposing team to continue to the next battle. Drag a card to your brawler to use it. Uh, I have I have a brawler. Yeah, there he is. Stick Got him. Playing an ability, you'll draw another one immediately. Playing cards costs energy. You can play any number of cards if you have the energy to do so. So you can do one more. Great. Slash deals two damage. And you skulk. Simple. Basic brawler with no special abilities. A lot of energy. Time to brawl. Enemy will perform their actions first, and then you, uh, your brawlers will use equipped items of any. Ouchie. Got hit pretty hard there. Drag a block card to Bruno to protect him from the incoming damage. Okay, but you also could have just killed him. Yeah, but uh, the tutorial isn't allowed to. If you use ability cards, there's another type of card called an item. Items versus abilities. Uh, items tend to have more powerful effects than abilities. However, items are slow. When you end your turn, your opponents act first, and your brawlers use the equipped items afterwards. Uh, abilities resolve instantly, so you get to draw a new card immediately uh, after you play an ability. Okay. Okay. Abilities like Slash and Block take effect immediately when played out, but items will after the enemy's turn. Drag this long sword to Bruno to equip it. Ah, see? That'll get him. Now it's time to brawl, but but I could extra slash him. I don't think I have enough energy. I did, though. I still have two energy. Nah. Oh, that's, that's a whole lot of skelly bros. De <laughs> you defeated your opponent, but it looks like there's another wave of enemies. You need to defeat all the waves to complete the battle. Let's bring some more reinforcements of your own. <sighs> enemies show their intent, and it looks like Bruno is going to take a beating. Most enemies attack whoever is directly in front of them when possible. Bruno is already pretty low in health, so pick him up and drag him to the rear. Notice how your other hero is going to take the blow instead. Move heroes around as much as you want for free. Cards can have up to two categories. Each uh, upgrade has a type, and only brawlers matching that type can make use of the upgrade. Each hero has its primary stat, strength, dexterity, faith, or intelligence. Card upgrades are only active when used on a brawler of a matching type. Nah. Mischief is a dexterity brawler. The dexterity upgrade in this card applies poison to its target. Equip daggers to mischief. I'm guessing that one's mischief. Yeah. yeah. Ambusher, start each battle with critical. Ooh. Rose, uh, divine. Assign cards with a faith upgrade, also restore two health to all allies. Then Bruno, when you end your turn, this brawler gets two army, or yeah, two army, two blocks in the front row. Two army. Two army. Rose is a faith brawler. This faith upgrade adds extra damage, but also adds curses to your deck. Equip the hammer onto Rose. Deal nine damage and restore two. Faith plus six damage. Res uh, shuffle two curses into your deck. That's interesting. The faith character gets curses. Huh. Bruno's a strength brawler, but let's see what happens when we play this dexterity upgrade card onto him. Uh, it's like, hey, be unoptimal. Bruno can still use the card, but won't be able to make use of its upgrade. When you end your turn in brawl, enemies attack first, and then any of your brawlers equipped with an item will act after, uh, afterwards. On both teams, brawlers resolve left to right, top to bottom, like a book. Okay, so one, two, three, right. four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. If you ever forget the turn order, you can also check the order of the brawler portraits at the top of the screen. Ouch. Ouch. Take that. Take that. And then you also take that as well. One more thing. The crowd will challenge you to complete feats during a brawl. Feats have an objective, i.e. deal 10 damage in a single blow, and a reward, 
like restoring the health of all of your brawlers. The crowd wants you to show off your blocking skills. You're already almost there. Continue playing block cards to achieve it. Um, um, yeah, the one in front. Sense. Feet completed block party. It did something. I didn't read too fast. Done. Try to complete feats to earn a competitive edge in battle. You may consider building the deck to take advantage of feats. Best of luck in the qualifier. All right. Twin daggers deal damage twice. Uh... Longsword deal four damage once. If I do two damage twice and this person has two health... Will it do two damage to him and then two damage to someone else? Potentially. It uh, looks like it. Yeah, looks like it. All right. Perfect. And that skeleton boy poisons out. All right. And then just a couple more, a couple more daggers, and then. Oh. One equip, okay. Gotcha. Got him. Intermission. <laughs> 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 clang, clang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We qualified. We did it. We know how to play the game now forever. Sweet. Well, now let's play for realsies. Play the few. Oh, it's uh, Greybeard, Bruno, and Mischief. Uh, iron and Wine. Team, team Captain's bonus. Start each battle with two extra might. Starting bonuses. Block party. 12 total block. All brawlers get an extra might. That's what happened. And a spoonful of sugar. Restore 8 health to any brawler below half health. There's the wild card once per turn. Dang. And it looks like there's a bunch of characters to unlock. Yeah. Win a run with any team in any difficulty to unlock this brawler. Iron difficulty for that one. Run with three different teams of any difficulty. And then win a run without the original three. Ah, was I like, I'm looking at those little shadow portraits there and I'm like, oh, I want to unlock that last character. And then you're like, yeah, but you got to unlock the other three first. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Well, well, here we go. We're in the Rust League. Aw. Well, yeah, it sounds better than Wood League, at least. Iron Wine versus Roadkill. Roadkill. Bro! I want explosions. Oh, wild cards allow you to change the rules for the brawl for one turn. You can use each wild card once per battle, but you'll will, uh, you can use them again for your next fight. That makes sense. Uh, you can only use one wild card per turn. Use wild cards creatively to turn the tide of battle. Okay. All right. Feeble toxin poisons. Twin daggers is the dexterity thing. We got a block. Uh, mischief. I'm guessing is the Dex character. Yep. She's also currently getting absolutely slnockered on that front row there. Slnockered? Slnockered. I'll let him get slnockered first. <laughs> and then I'll block his slnox. <laughs> uh, add two fire to any tile occupied by a brawler. Oh, we're going to do this. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then... Hmm. Burn one of the... Burn, burn one of the skulks. Grimble, do oh. Something. Add two fire to any tile occupied by a brawler. Fire takes two additional damage to each fire. Wait, so then why would I want to? This, this feels... That just feels bad. Or is it just they will do it? Oh. oh. Okay. A little unintuitive. Okay. Also, Greybeard is about to get crunched too, but. Yeah. Uh, do you. S no, I was going to say, do you swap Greybeard and Mischief, but Mischief is doing the attack up in the top row, so. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just 
just stab, stab. And then the poison takes and kills. Uh, all right. Long sword. Start next turn with two extra energy. Uh, we're gonna need to need to do a little bit of that action, I think. Okay. Uh, increase your damage equal to the number of stacks. So if we can get him to do some damage, he'll do two extra. But he's got two might, so he'll also do two extra. Um, and then don't forget, if you play an ability, you can draw a new card immediately. So if you well, if I play anything, I'll draw a new card immediately. I think. I thought it was. I thought they said specifically if it was an ability. Nah, eh, who knows? So again, you'll probably have to play that on mischief and then target. Yeah. Ice bolt. Deal two damage and apply four freeze to any brawler. Intelligence. Your card. Whoa, oh, that's that a big sword. Yeah, because abilities happen immediately. Well, yeah, I thought that was... It, it looked like a, something else. No. Uh, Anything with the wood background happens immediately. Anything. But with it the, was purple. Well, it's not purple. That just means it's, it has to be used by the, the purple character. How dare you? Wood's not purple. <laughs> Stop trying to change my worldview. Wood's not purple, James. But there's purple heartwood. No. It's like one of Scott's favorite kinds of wood. No, wood's not purple. I won't believe your purple wood propaganda. Dang. Oh, I thought we were done. No, you can see them on the side there. Yeah, I thought they were just friends. Uh, this turn, brawlers that use dexterity shall be ejected for one turn. Dang. Uh, well, that was rude. Well, that just means don't use that, that bottle of hooch. Maybe I won't. All right, I say you burn someone in the top row so you can draw the next card. Well, let's see, there you go. He can tank up. Or do I tank him up? I don't think it matters. I think they're both good. No! I would suggest not using it. But I want to. I mean, I know. That's the idea. Uh, and what, just put on the, the sword and the hat, I guess? Um, maybe I help you down here. Probably. And the next turn we'll have more energy. Yes. Because I have a fancy hat. And then I can use my wild card to heal up several people. Yeah. Well, this is below half health, so what does on half health count as below? Ah, uh, one way to find out. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Hopefully you just hit the front character. That's sad. There you go. Uh, yay! I completed block party. And just smack. Smack, smack, poison. This guy is real mad about it. Uh... Perfect, probably. And yeah, nailed it. And there we go. Done. Handled. Got him. Proud of you. Oh, they're so proud of us. You know, I'm curious. I didn't think to ask this before we started. Seeing the that bottle cap on that victory screen there, is this one of the same people that did Pit Fighter? Uh, maybe. Uh, that is possible. Uh, common ice bolt. 
Uncommon lightning strike and uncommon ice pick. Okay. The ice pick is big damage with even bigger damage if the target's frozen. Which goes well with the ice bolt. And this is eight damage to anybody and apply lightning equal to the damage. Charged. Next time this brawler takes damage, deal the uh, damage equal to the number of charge stacks to adjacent brawlers. Ooh. So it costs three, but it's big damage and then you can... Hit him again to do eight to everybody around him. Yeah. Hit That's him with some sauce. Pretty good. And it's uh, wood and not. That means it'll metal. go before. Yeah, it'll go before the combat goes. I kind of like it. Yeah. Make them scream. Uh, after battle, you'll be able to choose new feats. As mentioned, feats have a goal and a reward for meeting that goal. The reward lasts only for the duration of the battle. In future battles, you'll be able to complete the goal again to earn the reward. At any given time in battle, you'll be able to make progress towards three feats. Once you complete one, another will be randomly selected by the crowd. Choosing feats that complement your deck and your strategy is critical to success in the Bramble Royale. So, play three dex cards to reduce the energy cost of dex cards by one. Create a fire five times to heal everybody. Or buff allies ten times using cards to heal everybody and buff everybody. Hmm. Well, we're, we don't do any buffs using cards currently. Yeah, certainly All of not. our buffs are just kind of stuff that happens passively. Yeah. Well, unless they, they count things like like block, right? If a block counts yeah. as a buff. But even still. Uh, I think the easiest one to do right now is the dex cards. I think so. Pyromaniac, close second. And a sore 15 to all allies. Is... Do you like that a little bit better then? I think I like that better than Twinkle Toe's ability. Unless it, <laughs> the other one's permanent. Eh. I don't know. It's just for the fight. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. After each battle, you'll visit Bramble Town. You only have time to uh, visit a few vendors in town each day. Choose one of the two schedules to decide which vendors you'll visit. Spend your time wisely and hope to win the tournament. So we can either go to the inn, the bank, and the workshop, or we can go to the store, the oracle, and then train. We have 100 uh, bottle cap dollars. Yeah. So the left side is going to be a full heal, gain money, and then spend that money to upgrade, it, upgrade cards. And then this one is spend money to buy cards, remove a card, and then spend more money to gain a perk and a pack for a chosen brawler. So schedule B is going to give us more of a, I think more of a yeah. buff. But schedule A is going to, yeah, schedule A is going to cost us nothing and get us back to full and still get a buff on top of it. Yeah. And it'll, you know, like half of our guys are, are you know, like hurting pretty health. good. Yeah. So uh, sch I'm schedule A is the safe option. Schedule yeah. B sounds... Tempting, but Schedule A is the safe option. Yeah, well, let's go Schedule A. We're we're still figuring things out. Let's, uh, oh, can we do them in any order? Looks like it. Uh, all right, so we go to the ATM. I suppose we'll go to the end. Ah, so this is not the oh, deal. Okay. Uh, it's to max health or choose and clone a card. Ooh. I I honestly because our, our well, we could either get another lightning bolt <laughs> and just go hard, but they're very expensive. Or just everybody gain plus 2 health. I mean, we could uh, also clone like the Are we allowed to back out of this or are we stuck in here now? Go to the anvil, yeah. upgrade a card and then go clone. Okay. Cards can have up to two upgrades. Each upgrade has a type, and only Brawlers matching that type can make use of the upgrade. Brawlers type matches any upgrade on the card. It can take advantage of all upgrades, even if one of the types doesn't match. Ooh, okay. For example, if Mischief, a Dexterity Brawler, plays a card with both Dexterity and Faith upgrade, gains the effect of both upgrades. Okay. That same card uh, played on Bruno, uh, he'll just get the basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mix yeah. and match. Strength, Dex, Faith, and Intelligence. Yada, yada. Okay. Splash and plus one cost. Add a stab to your deck. Just or just plus one energy next turn. Okay. Uh, plus one energy will make doing the uh, the, the lightning, lightning a little bit easier. easier. Cleaving uh, would make the lightning be our entire turn, but well, but that's a, the the item. The cleaving looks like it goes on an it, item. Uh, yeah, it does say give an item. Honestly, so. I kind of like, because of how we've gone, I kind of like giving the arcane to the little firebolt. 
To this thing? Yeah, to the, to the Scourge. Because it's... We'll get the plus one next turn by playing this card. By playing this card, sure. Right, so we don't want to put it on the lightning bolt unless we're planning on playing the lightning bolt multiple turns back to back. All right, we'll, we'll try it. Shiny. Plus, we want to do. Oh, we can put all f do three. Of them? Oh, oh but it's they... fifty each. Okay, we could just go hard and upgrade everything. Yeah, this is item specific. Now, this item already has decks on it. Yeah. So if I put the cleave on this... Then it will have cleave and dex, and yeah. then both our strength and dex characters can use both abilities. Which but it will, seems... It, but it will cost three. It will cost three, but it gives the item splash, yeah. which hit, what, hits both... It's all targets in the row, I think it's uh, in? Just uh, splash is all brawlers in the same row. Yeah. So like in those last fights where there were... The yeah. two enemies. Yeah. That could be good. Is it worth making it cost two? And fifty dollars. And fifty dollars. But in the in the case of that dagger, it does make it so that two of our characters can use the full dagger, as opposed yeah. to right now that dagger has to be I'm gonna do it. Oh, I think I like it. Shiny. <laughs> and then and we can still spend fifty for singing, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. And then like now, do we clone any of those? I would say either clone, either clone the lightning bolt, clone the new fire bolt, because that way we have even more chance of scorching and more chance of also, gaining extra energy. Uh oh, because I was gonna say it didn't increase the cost, but it's if either of the two characters make use of it, it will cost one more. If the, uh, if the mage uses if it, if the mage uses it, it'll and, just and it'll just hit twice for, for without the bonuses, which. Honestly, that's kind of cool that that option still exists. All right. So then, yeah, I would either say upgrade the light, uh, co either copy the lightning bolt because it's cool, copy that new scorch because we then have more energy more often. Right. Plus, we picked up the wild card that heals us on score too much scorch. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think that's the. I think that's the saucy that's, sauce. That's the saucy sauce. All right. Then we and go then. there and do the next fight. Oh, oh, we got to oh, we got to oh. we got to fight the fish people. Iron and wine. First the filthy gobloids. Oh, not the filthy gobloids. <laughs> oh, look how filthy these gobloids look. And look at that. Already we got a scorch. Oh, did that copied scorch not copy the the enchantment? Uh, oh, no, it's, it yeah, does have the intelligence. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's enchanted. I just, I didn't see the symbol. So I think we do this and then this, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Although, the splash is actually doing nothing for us right now. Oh, that's true. So maybe we do this and this, just because. Sure. Just go in hard. And in fact, whoever we target, we could basically just nuke someone off the field immediately. Well, take that. <laughs> All right. Well, now we can reposition. Yeah. Out of curiosity, if you move Bruno to the middle lane there. No, middle lane. What middle lane? There's. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a two by two. Yeah, these are, these are two wow, by two that squares. Looked, for some reason, that looked like. Never mind. We're good. You're I was good. like, what? Just the way it was laid out, for some reason, it looked like it was a two by three. Right. I'm a dingus, that's all. He's, mm -hmm. he's mad. Okay. We have nothing but items. Nothing but items. Uh... Yeah. He'll get his swing in first, yeah. but then we'll kill him. Yo! Stab, stab. Oh. Warlord Wagyu. This turn, brawlers that use intelligence cards will be ejected for one turn. Oh, that's... Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, but look, we're we're in a good spot for... Whoa. Apply stupid to a random opponent each turn. 
negates the card modifiers. Okay. Well, I mean, that said, the splash comes in real handy now. Just wreck that bottom row. Let's get rid of Warlord Wagyu. He'll make, he'll make him stupid. Yeah, and then hit, hit Wagyu. Oh, he gets the one right in front of him. That's fine. Um, and I guess I'm gonna hit you with the block. Probably. A good idea. All right, uh. and then no one's at half yet. But they prevented us from being smart. We're stupid. Yeah, this guy's got to give us the stupid. That said, just that ability in the bottom there. It, it, it worked out well. He stabbed okay. good. We could be smart again. All right. Uh, that said, we are currently in the process of getting absolutely smoked. All right. Well, don't forget, if we use our abilities trigger before the combat, so we can potentially just kill someone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like if you scorch that guy in the front, he, I think he just dies. I'm not quite. Uh, he is dying, but not. He's not dead yet. Uh. Uh. So oh, hold on, because that does. Yeah. I want to do this. And then, but then the next time the brawler takes damage, so we actually hit put that on the guy in the back. This guy. Do we have enough? Actually, how much energy do we, do we have? Uh, enough to just do that, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Dang. Um, so then at that point, uh, maybe you do, do I do might that. have to ice bolt this guy here. Yeah, just kill him. Kill him outright. There you go. That'll make things easier. Mm. Uh, we are still getting crushed a little here. Yeah, we're getting kind of wrecked. Uh, I might have to use a spoonful of sugar just so that he survives. Yeah. And then, just out of curiosity. Yeah, that just oh, kills. Yeah. Oof. Oh, you're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, he mm -hmm. just swings big. Yeah, unfortunately, because that's going to swing after, there's no... Oh, okay. I'm just sacrificing the rogue here. Because I don't think I had a yeah. choice. Someone was going to die. But, no, that one's dead. And now it's just us and Senor Stupid here. Oh, yeah. I'll hit him with the poison. Uh, if he's not in our lane, can he not? Oh, is he just not attacking? And he must be put up a buff or something. Uh, applying a beneficial effect to himself. Okay. Okay. Well, so that means we're we, alive, but I'm stupid. Uh, Upgrades and cards, this character plays has no effect. Okay. okay. We have six energy right now. Cool. So hit him with the lightning bolt, because it's just big damage. Let me draw a card. Uh, I'll, I could finish block party. That's true. I mean, you might as well, right? All right. Uh, and then I can either poison him, or I can slash him and poison him, or I can get energy next turn. Um, I think... Uh, the double, the double poison. Well, this is the same as the stab. Well, with it's potential for more damage next turn if we don't think we can just kill him in one turn anyway. I think I like sword poison. I think that's the most on hand damage. Yeah, it, yeah. I'd say either sword poison or sword hat, so that we have more energy next turn. Uh, I will poison first. Ah, Ooh, that's, that's way that, better. That that. that Oh, but he doesn't get the benefit uh, he's because he's stupid. stupid. But it's eight damage. It's still eight damage, yeah. Oh, so it's fine. Oh, and it was yeah. eleven damage because we had the plus three might anyway. Yeah. 
legendary Whew. Uh, we did have a casualty. Eh, he'll probably be fine. And behind uh. door number three. Uh, ooh, rares. epic. Ooh, rares. Uh, Battle Mage Staff deals zero, zero damage, eight for each debuff on the opponent. Okay, so we've got, so, like, Charged and Poisoned and... Charged, Poisoned, Scorch, Frost... Yeah, we technically are can Are just do. the things that we do. Yeah. Uh, charge, gain one energy, and Rally the Brawler, Purge. But, but costs three health? Immediately resolve the effect of an equipped item. Ooh. Or smash good. <laughs> <laughs> smash good. Deal damage equal to four times the number of strength cards in your deck. Woo! That's... We have two strength cards in our deck. We do. Uh... So that's three energy for eight damage. It's got a four in parentheses, which indicates either four strength cards or four Go back, check damage. our deck again. What's that? Check our deck again. Uh, Longsword. And twin daggers. Huh. I don't know. That seems weird. I kind of like the Battle Mage Staff, though. Battle Mage Staff is pretty good. Give him a good show. Uh, all right. Spend health playing cards. To fully restore play. your brawlers. Well, we don't really do that. Play a stab five times, which we had the opportunity to put stabs in our deck, but we yeah. chose not to. Or Twinkle Toes, Toes again. again. I guess Twinkle Toes is fine. Yeah. And hopefully we can overlay better ones if we find better ones. Okay. All right, we have $150. The in, increase max health or clone a card for free. Train and then remove a card, or buy a wild card, which another wild card would be lovely, and then buy cards and then get more money. Okay. I don't hate either one again. Do if you want to, I say left side if you want to spell the deck, right side if you want to. The the extra wild card could be huge. Could be huge. So Go for it. let's. And then, and it's, it'd be nice to see what Something options we have. That's true. I'll just take the money. All right, wild card job. Big Bang Theory. Brawlers that die this turn explode, dealing eight damage to their allies. That's potentially so. pretty good. Uh, the brawl phase shall be skipped this round. Equipped cards will be discarded. You know, on a round like that last one uh, where we, we just got absolutely yeah. crushed to just be like, how about we just don't? Yeah, how about no? Or damage this turn shall be doubled. <laughs> That's, I need to finish it right now. Yeah. I don't hate any of these. I don't think I have a preference. I think all of them are good. I think Big Bang Theory could be very strong and as long as we're careful shouldn't affect us negatively and is specifically only for groups correct the timeout could be a lifesaver yeah. but also doesn't help us yeah if it's not and then the third one is the spicy of we can get some yeah. murder in but we might get murdered in the process i i like swinging for fences all right i'm a fence swinger although timeout with like is good for if you're doing a lot of like poison and damage over time and stuff. That's also true. You're just like, I'm just going to put all this stuff and then everyone, everybody, back up for a minute. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, can I get multiples? <laughs> yes, it looks like you can. So then you know what? You're going to both. I'm going to get both of these. And save money. And then we're going to save the money for the general store. Okay. <laughs> Blizzard. Deal two damage and apply six frost to all enemy brawlers. Okay. Okay. Chill staff, deal eight damage, shuffle a zero cost copy of Ice Bolt with Purge into your deck. Trigger poison on any brawler. Okay, so if an enemy is highly poisoned, you can just pop the damage immediately. Deal ten damage to a rear row opponent of the same row, and the dexterity is steal all buffs from the target. Huh. Uh, Blastorama, deal nine damage to all opponents, three per intelligence card in your deck. 
uh, split between all opponents. Dexterity, add a stab to your deck. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, deal zero damage, three per ability played this turn, so you just gotta play it at the end. Uh, intelligence, damage is increased by four per unique debuff on the target. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, for applying debuffs to the target, Blizzard just seems Blizzard really good. Blizzard seems really good. And it is also, like, saving our life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then backstab also seems like it can be particularly good. If someone's got a lot of buffs going on, you'd be like, well, what if... What if you didn't, though? You didn't, though. And instead I had them. I mean, and even if you're not stealing anything, it is still three energy yeah. for ten damage, which is not bad. So I'm... You know what? I'm just gonna... And you've got the money for more things. Do you want the, the, the staff as well? Again, uh, that one's an item, so it goes after the yeah. enemies. But it is a two energy, eight damage. It's not. Which then also gives you a free ice bolt later on. It's a zero cost, do two damage, apply four frost. It's not bad, but is it good? It's like, personally, I like it, but I, I also get saving the money. Uh. 14 cards in our deck currently. <laughs> you mouse over a card? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You mouse over leaving? No, nah. don't do that. <laughs> I, I really like that. I, I, I do too. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> oh, this game's got a lot of charm, and I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now it's Iron and Wine versus the Brawlaholics. Ah, oh, shh. Uh, okay. Well, we could just blizzard all of these fools. Uh, which will be most of our energy, admittedly. Uh, but we can get energy back next turn by scorching somebody as well. So why don't we, uh, you know, we'll scorch you. Good strategy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, lightning strike or blizzard? I I, I wish I scorched you. I didn't. I should have thought about the potential of drawing the lightning strike. Hmm. Uh, although once per turn when this brawler takes damage, all allies get rage. So everyone will be hitting harder. Yeah. Although uh, currently... Although these two are buffing, but this one is going to hit. So yeah, but, well, but what's he swinging for at the moment? Uh, right now he is swinging for four. Yeah. So if you do the blizzard, he'll, he'll gain damage from the rage, but then yeah. lose six damage from the blizzard. If I do the lightning strike, he won't get raged. He'll just get charged. So the and next the time, next he, time he gets damage. hit, and he pops to the other guys. And then the next time, I could blizzard to kill them both, potentially, because mm. it'll do 10 damage each. Well, that's true. Which is not quite lethal, but... Make sure you hit the which one you're going to hit. Yeah. Well, actually, I got to... Yeah, you do that there, and then you're going to hit the, guy, the front guy and add the rage. Uh, you had the I whole mean, conversation about hitting the guy in the back. Well, because he was supposed to charge his adjacent friends, but he... No, 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 he gets charged, and then the next time he gets hit, the charge hits the adjacent friends. I didn't completely misunderstand that the entire time. That's okay. That just means that the next time you hit him, he's going to do, I guess in this case, it looks like 10 damage to the guy behind him. Actually, it might hit both adjacent. I'm not sure. Yeah, the way it said adjacent, I, I assumed it was going to be everybody. Yeah, and so it probably is. So if you hit that guy with any attack, uh, he should charge and blast the other two. So in fact, if you hit him with the if you hit the blizzard, that yeah. should kill everybody. Because you're gonna hit everybody for the blizzard damage, and then the charge is gonna go off, and he's gonna zap everybody. Which was my plan the all whole time. I mean, it's technically what you said. I just uh, so your your turn's not over, but the next wave hasn't started. Do I want energy for next turn by, like, just 
setting fire to a tile. Uh, honestly, I would. Spend one energy that you can't carry over anyway. Oh, you have to target a... <laughs> just set him on fire over there? Well, dang. Well, I guess that's... Well, then you could... Play the chill staff to put a ice bolt in. Your, well, again, although you might yeah. not be able to target. Oh yeah, you probably can. You play the chill staff just to put an ice bolt in your pocket. Yeah, well, that's eight damage. Well, yeah, but you discard your hand at the end of the turn, don't you? No, I've been paying that. Not been paying attention. Well, I'll keep it then. <laughs> We're both good at this. Yeah, we are. Uh, intelligence cards are bad. Okay, cool. Well, what about it? I'm sad. Well, I mean, you only got the one at the moment. Right, uh, gain two rage after each round. I could steal his rage. Well, he's not in the rear row, but he is the most rear of his row. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that'll count. Nope. Because she was in the back row. I mean, it hit somebody. Yeah. So, I'm not going to complain too loudly about it, but, huh. Uh, yeah, and then if you just give him the, the, the rage sword, he'll just, he'll kill that guy. He'll take a hit here, but he'll kill him back. All right. The strength sword, not the rage sword. Bap. And then you hit him with the poison, and then you hit him with the thing that's going to do eight yeah. damage per per thing. Oh, or the ice. Yeah, you hit him yeah. with all three of them. Oh, you only got two left, though. But yeah, then you hit him with uh, the ones that I, I hit him that. with anything, and he just dies. And that's true. Except for the feeble toxin. The, 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 oh. the toxin will tick at the end of the turn. Uh, so but all well. of these are items, so they're not going to go first anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. So. It's a great it point. Didn't really matter. Uh, oh, wait. What's um, the burning do? The burning, uh, whenever oh, they take, take damage, damage, they take more damage. But since we freeze them so much, this person's not doing any damage anyway, so. Hey. Well, then hit him with a toxin, then. So now they're going to have poison tick, and it's going to super kill them. Uh, freeze them so they don't do any damage, and then just uh, debuff them to death. Here's a cookie. Oh, they gave us a cookie. And nuclear candy. Yeah. Ooh, another chill staff. Yeah, another chill staff. Burnout. Destroy any non-boss brawler on a tile containing a fire or deal six damage otherwise. That seems really good. We have a couple of things that cause fires. Yeah. Uh, protect is also pretty good, but it's common. Yeah. I like the burnout. Uh, achieve a poison stack of 10 or higher to apply 5 poison to everybody. The stab one. Or play 8 total ability cards. Your ability cards also heal. That seems pretty good. Alright. We're leaning into playing some. Uh, In-store wild card shop or train bank workshop. I like the train bank workshop. Partly because we haven't seen the train yet. Uh, one well, like battle train was like yesterday. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, well then let's go to the train first then. At the gym, your brawlers can train to earn a perk. Perks provide special passive abilities to your brawlers. For instance, Bruno's starting perk allows him to gain block while standing in the front row. Each brawler can be trained twice for a total of three perks. Oh. You also get to open a card pack when you train. This pack is guaranteed to contain cards from the chosen brawler's card pool. Oh, okay. Okay. So, bold heart. When you end your turn, block the front row. This starts each battle with critical. And whenever you use an ability, get to... Get to rage. Dance. So your, all your abilities get stronger. All right. So let's uh, see. Bruno's already got two abilities. Uh, so, so yeah, we, the, we're doing a lot of magical stuff here. Let's yeah, let's train him maybe. Okay, let's see what his new ability is. Uh, when a feat is completed, gain five rage. 
Uh, at the end of each turn, transfer a debuff from this brawler to a random opponent. Huh. Or just double his health. <sighs> that is a lot of health. Yeah. Huh. The show off means when you when you complete a feat, he gets real angry for the turn. Yes. Healthy means what? he won't die. Healthy means he won't die. And I, I, it's boring, but I kind of like it. Healthy. All right, let me draw cards three. from a mage deck. Ooh, hey. A lightning rod. Add two copies of Zap to your deck. Deal zero damage to any brawler. Increase by one for each copy of Zap in your hand or Zap or in your hand or deck. Okay. Intelligence plus one energy next turn. Which that's. I don't hate that. It's it's a ramping thing. Uh, we've also got uh, magic armor, mm. which is just a the, big the, shield that potentially costs cheaper. Yeah. And then fireball, which is just damage and burn. And we do kind of like burn. So I don't hate it. It's a little sad because that's the common one compared to the uncommon and, and a rare. It's like I don't hate the lightning rod, but I feel like if we were taking the lightning rod, we would have needed to find a way to lean into that faster. Yeah. I'm also not above just skipping, but. That's also true. I feel like we keep adding cards to our deck and we're not really removing any. Yeah. Okay, fireball. And you cannot multi-train. Okay, that is good to know. Uh, just four damage, another splash, or trigger poison on the target. Ooh. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's... Can I, I mean, see? Oh, I guess it'll just tell me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can make this a mighty lightning strike. <laughs> get the the strength guy to do it. Do you put? Do you make the lightning strike mighty, or do you make the blizzard mighty? Uh, the blizzard being mighty is good just because it hits everything. The lightning strike is good because oh, because it, it also gives yeah charge equal to the damage. That's true. And if we have. Yeah, our our strength boy casting. Yeah, I and agree. Whatever, I agree. man. And currently, the it doesn't doesn't care who casts it. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I've been having the mage cast because it makes sense, but technically anyone can cast yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, punch him with lightning. All right, oh, lightning punch. Uh, do we want to do anything else? Uh, both of these are good. Virulent is nice, but we're not necessarily doing a ton of poison. And then this is specifically for items. Yeah. And, yeah, I say save our money. Okay. Oh, we're... Big red button. We're at the end of the line, it looks like. The circuit breakers. Dodge robots. Uh, again, we get this when there's not... Now, destroy any non-boss brawler in a tile. That's already burning, though. No. Uh, it's like, if, the, if the tire was fire. Uh, let's see. The first time you turn this unit, it takes damage. It gains four block. And this, if you start the turn without ward, gain ward. Ward is you cannot be affected by debuffs. Oh. So the first debuff we hit him with is going to not debuff him, which is... Sad, because I was going to say just hit hit them with the blizzard so we take no damage this round, but he's going to ignore the frost. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Should we all just move him? Just put him back there. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, I do think a blizzard is still still pretty good. Good, because that. Prevents some damage. It'll prevent the damage from the bottom guy at the very least. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't matter who casts it. Uh, whenever Although, this uses the ability, he gains rage. So. That's right. Uh, what about the other two? He uh, he, he is critical. Starts with critical. Uh, so double damage of the next attack and then remove. So but so, th so that goes until that goes until he attacks. So yeah. we don't have to attack right away. Which actually means we 
Oh. We need to make our lightning bolt also have dexterity. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? So that he can use the lightning bolt as his first attack. And uh, put on, what, like, tw 24 charge on that first hit? Wouldn't be too shabby. Uh, okay, well. Hmm. Yep. Uh, we gotta use some of this stuff, which is sad. Well, why is it sad? Uh, I might use his critical, just so we do four damage twice. Mm, stuff. And things. Could do that. He's gonna block the poison for the first hit, at least. Yeah, but the second hit will poison him. Yeah. Uh, and then just load up and try to get through that top row as fast as possible. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to cut through, but we're we're taking some damage here. Yeah, but this is why we gave the wizard an extra ten hit points. I I still don't say we trust the backstab because it does say hits the rear row, and I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Um, this guy does have a debuff. I can give him another debuff, but then not have enough energy to. You can give him another debuff. Uh, no, I can't. And for some reason, I want to believe that burnout causes fire because no. of the icon uh, of the uh, person. Yeah. Just no, that's, that's if they're flames. burning, it burns them out. So why don't you put the the toxin on the bottom guy so we draw another card? Because if we then draw the Scorch, then we can... Oh, no. Oh, I... It, you know what? That's... You know what? It's fine. But now we can burn... Somebody. Someone. The bottom guy's got all the health, so if we burn him and then next turn we can burn him out. What? We okay. Gotta... Uh, and then we can scorch the top guy if we wanted to. And then I say we... Whew. Yeah, it's getting a little... It's a little scary. A little, a little spicy dicey. Well, we should be able to kill both of them next turn. That bottom guy can just be hit with the burnout, and he's just dead. Uh, destroy any non-brass Yeah, on a tile. Yeah, we could technically do that on either one, but he's got all the health. So just okay. Uh... That top guy is already dead, but we can finish him off early yeah. just to do it. And then... To save health? Yeah. Uh, he's got... So let's do 8 damage for each debuff. He does have 1 debuff, and that will and kill he, him. Yeah, that'll be enough to kill him. So I think we But just... that's an item, so it won't... We'll have oh, right. I can backstab him. If it, if it if works. It, if it works. Uh, or I can do something like this. Yeah, I like I like that. That way, if it doesn't yeah. kill him... Yeah, if it didn't kill him... Okay, and then unfortunately, ain't nothing else to do here. Uh, I could spoonful of sugar to heal specifically him. These two have to take. He needs to take one more hit point, and he needs to take a couple more hit points. So you know, we'll we'll hold for now. No out now. Oh, we, we have two, two of three. three. Oh, look at that guy in the back. Knight of Dogby. Uh, attack is increased by. Block plus armor amount. Ooh. And he's got 10 armor. Behaves like block, but the effect is not removed at the end of the turn. Uh, but we got our lightning strike here. Yep. Uh, this guy is burning currently. Uh, but he would... 
Room, yeah. He would ignore all of the... He would not take the charge. So if we're going to do that, give it to... Yeah, do there, and then hit that guy. Okay, and then we could feeble toxin, or we can just start the next turn with more energy. I think I like starting the next turn with more energy. Yeah, I agree. Alright, and then next turn we'll be able to heal just fine, because everyone is going to be taking enough damage. Yeah. So then we can just be like, boom. We're feeling great. Great's a strong word, but... We're feeling uh, great. Uh, uh, if you hit the bottom guy with the poison first and then hit him with the battle staff. Uh, don't worry, I'll move you again at some point. Uh, bubbly! Oh. Hey! Now we can, we can heal a little bit. Your abilities more. also heal. And we're, we're getting close to block party here. And we have we five, will get block so party. we can also frost the bottom guy. Uh, oh, no, no. That's, that shuffles it in. Yeah. Okay. But we can block party. Which will give everybody more attack. Uh, we can set somebody else on fire some more. Uh, Does that put on the burn immediately? Yes. Then I say you Hit burn, the, yeah, burn that guy him. and then smack him with the staff. That might be enough to explode his face. Because he's now got three debuffs on, so that Battle Mage staff is doing 24. Uh, we could also Blizzard if we chose, which isn't a lot of damage. It's not so the blizzard's not a lot of damage, but it would negate a lot of their damage. Uh, or we can put the battle mage staff on someone to kill that bottom guy after and it, and they. It doesn't beat matter us who up. gets the battle mage staff. Uh, well, just because they, the, just remember they attack forward, so yeah. it doesn't matter who gets it, but make sure it's someone in the bottom lane. Um. All right. We already used a wild card this turn, so we can't use another one. Correct. He, he didn't die, but he took a lot. Okay. And the charge went off, which the charge only like six, but it's something. Uh, something. Let's uh, actually let me feeble toxin first. Okay. Because that will get rid of his ward. Yes. And then we're gonna blizzard. I'm gonna blizzard. Which is gonna kill that one guy and then save everyone else's bacon. Yeah. And then, um, and then I guess we just put more poison on. Yeah, because he's not a. Is he not? A, is he attacking? Uh, he's attacking, but we, he's got six frost on him. So whatever he's doing is doing less damage. Doing very little. Where these two are taking a little bit of damage. From yeah, they are taking a little bit of damage. So. Yeah, but I think the feeble toxin's still correct. Uh, and abilities are healing, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, abilities are healing, so putting block up on that front guy is not a bad idea. Uh, he's taking eight, so one block will save him. Fantastic. You can keep punching each other. Uh, and then I can frost him up some more to really save some more yep. health. And then, uh, just smack him as hard as we can. Yeah. All right. We're getting there. Stabby, stabby. Uh, his ward is back, but he'll take six damage with this anyway, so who cares? Hey, you... So, fireball! <laughs> Alright, so this gives us the rest of the turn to set up. Do we... Oh yeah, it's not over. Yeah, there's one more dude back there. 
Do we play the staff to gain the uh, to put the the frost bolt in? Because the other one needs to target a, a brawler, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, you know what? That one, yeah. He'll swing at nothing, but he'll put the, the free attack in our deck for the upcoming rounds. All, All right. right. The actual boss. A lot of health. Strength cards. Get ejected. So okay. Can't so use don't that. use that. This, this backstab. Yeah. Well, you might as well do that. Hey, that's pretty oh. good. Oh, oh, it's just uh, create a fire five times. Does it count if I keep putting fire in the same place? I don't know. Oh, there's the free fr frost bolt or ice bolt. <laughs> you can keep okay. Each other. Uh, it did look like the proposals were going up, by the way. So I think you're at four of yeah, four or five to to for a big heal. That would be pretty huge right now. Oh boy. Oh, okay. He's, he's fine. Um, uh, well. And then the other one is just double damage, right? Which is. I meant the other wild card. It's just double damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, if, if we can't save people this turn, we might. It might be worth doing that to just have that lightning bolt do 24 damage. Although, if his yeah. attack's going to kill us back... Yeah, then that's still problematic. Um, oh, then maybe we... Maybe we blast the heck out of him, and then right at the end we go, you know what? There's no there's no brawl around this turn. All right. Ooh, that Scorch will... Uh, will heal, I will think. Give the heal, yeah. That's huge. Oh, that was. It's sad that this is a boss. Yeah. So, do we do six damage or do we get one more energy next turn? Uh, six more damage and draw a card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then, do we do we just take the hit or do we tell him to not not do a brawl this round? I think uh, we save that for if it's gonna kill someone. Yeah, yeah, we'll save that for if someone's going to die. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Whew. E Dang, that's... that's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, he's still dying. Uh... Um, uh, twin daggers, wizard hat, timeout. Uh, that would be real tragic because the timeout discards all the. Uh, well, all the equipped cards. So yeah, so if you play all the equipped yeah. cards and well, just you waste know, anyway. I don't mind getting rid of some of these anyway. That's true. Uh, so yeah, you know what. Time out. I don't know if I'll draw new ones for the ones that I discarded, but. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay. Okay, he's got one debuff up now. But we can work on getting more up there. <sighs> These are all items that happen at the end. I think we're cooked. <laughs> uh, move, move some people around. So like right now we're getting cooked because because our uh, our night guy has the charge. If he gets yeah. hit, everybody gets hit. So we can switch it so only one character dies, 
And do we need the wizard as much as I need to admit it? Or do we? Yeah, I guess we don't need the dex guy. Look, he'll go out swinging with a backstab, maybe. Just to see what happens. <sighs> I feel like at that point, you could try it. Look, it, it cycles it. it it's That's true. I just feel like we'd probably be better off just using the twin daggers on the guy behind him so we're doing more damage. Guaranteed. Uh, we can do that too. And setting up the poison, which means you'll have another debuff on. Alright. Which means that. Oh, the burn stopped. That's real unfortunate timing. Um. Because I'm, I'm looking at this going, we need to get a couple more debuffs on him and then do the double damage and then kill him with the staff. Sad. That's sad. Oh, but playing ability cards does heal. Uh, that's not that's an item. Oh, right. Uh, All right. Here's the question. Well, next turn, we're going to try to... We're going to hopefully draw something good. We're going to swing for the fences. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I can swing for the fence's backstab after this turn and probably kill him. Oh, that's true. <sighs> well, again, if the backstab hits. I said we still... Uh, yeah, that's true, if the backstab hits. I say we still do the backstab. Well, we gotta swing for the fences. Oh, yeah, well, I say, I yeah I'm sorry. Fences, no, I say we still do the swing for the fences. Hit him with the frost bolt. And then... It's four damage and apply minus four frost. Uh, okay. And then hit him with yeah, hit him with the scorch. Gives it a third debuff. And then just kill him. Yeah, does the blizzard just kill him? Yeah, yes, it does. It does damage. Beautiful. Twenty-two damage. All right. Whew. Heck yeah. Not even close. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Got him. Hope you enjoyed this small taste of Bramble Royale. Full version contains a lot more content, unlockable heroes, wild cards, new difficult new game plus modes, wacky new enemies, etc., etc. Launch in early 2025. Yeah. So there you go, Bramble Royale. Yeah. Let us know what you thought in the comments. I I liked it. It was hard, but it was well, good. we got it. First first try, baby. First, first try, baby. Uh, but anyway, let us know what you thought in the comments. And I guess with that, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.